Hey there friends and neighbors, Bobby here tonight. We're out in the garage and we're going to do a little how-to video on welding. Uh, tonight we'll be using a uh, basic um, wire-fed arc welder and we'll show you some of the techniques that I like to use for welding and we'll also demonstrate on a couple pieces of scrap metal. So sit back and enjoy. Okay friends, today we're going to be using the Lincoln Electric Weld Pack 100. I've had this welder for probably over 10 years or so. A um, couple adjustments on it. You have a um, temperature setting down here, A, B, C, and D. Um, a being the coolest, uh, D being the hottest. A would be used mainly for like sheet metal and stuff. D would be like for quarter inch steel. You also have a wire speed adjustment here, anywhere from, from settings from one to 10. Uh, we're gonna have it set at about two and a half to three today. That's about a good wire speed for basically any kind of welding. It's basically the speed you're gonna be using. Um, this unit also has, uh, I've got the door flipped up on it so you can see this is a spool of wire and this does have a inner um, flux wire is what this is. So it's actually got the flux inside the wire because we are arc welding, we're not MIG welding. But it comes off of the spool, goes through the feeder, goes through the tube, up to the uh, handle, your uh, positive electrode actually that you're going to be pulling the trigger and when you pull the trigger it's live the wire comes out and it will start welding and you have that and you also have your ground strap here that you have to keep hooked up to the piece of work that you're working on okay folks we've got two pieces of flat bar here and we're actually going to butt them up together and we're going to make a weld first of all we're going to pull a weld about halfway down and then we're going to come down here and we're going to push uh, show you pushing a weld from this point up to the midway point now, notice what I've done to the edge of this. I've actually taken it, put it on the grinder, and actually ground a bevel on this edge, on both pieces, okay? So what we've done is we, we've actually created a V-shape in here. And you always want to prep pieces. If you're doing a butt weld like this here, you definitely want to cut you a V-shape in to where you can actually go ahead and get some penetration deep in the metal, because that's the biggest thing. You don't want to just lay a bead on top of the metal because it's not going to be strong and it's not going to hold you actually want to get good penetration so let's get this clamped up and we'll show you how to weld it all right we're all clamped up ready to go let's go ahead and start pulling the weld we're going to start right here where the vice grips are somewhere close to there we're going to pull the weld about halfway so here we go All right, friends, so that's uh, actually what a weld looks like when it's pulled across there. Let's go ahead and push one. We're going to start from this point, and we're going to push a weld to the center point. Hey friends, uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to uh, weld like in, a, in an angle. What we've actually done here is we've taken, taken another piece of flat bar and went ahead and tacked it in place to our other piece that we've already welded. So we're going to show you how to just, you know, we're going to pull a weld down through here, you know, through our, um, this little valley right here, and we're just going to fill that in. Uh, no need to really cut a bevel on the edge of this piece or this piece because we've got plenty of material here to uh, work back and forth and we should be able to get a nice strong weld and get good deep penetration. So we're going to show you that show that to you right quick. Here we go. Just like lacing up the shoe, folks. Nothing to it. All right, there we 
go. All right, next thing we're going to show you how to do, folks, is we've got a piece of pipe here, okay? We're going to actually do a butt weld with uh, two pieces of pipe. Now, notice we've done the same thing that we've done with the flat bar. We actually ground um, like a 45 degree angle on the edge of it on both pieces. So we're going to get these all uh, clamped up and we'll show you how we weld a piece of pipe back together. All right, friends, we're clamped together, ready to weld with a piece of pipe. And what we're going to do is actually put a nice little spot weld on this side and then we're going to take it out of the vice grip, flip it over, put another spot weld on the other side, make sure it's nice and straight, and then we'll be ready to finish up the weld. So there we go. Let's unclamp it. Looks like it's going to be nice and straight anyway, and we're just doing a quick little demonstration anyhow. So let's go ahead and flip it over. Put another weld right in here. Okay, now friends, from that point, it should, you want to double check it, make sure it's nice and straight, and then you go ahead and finish up your weld. So let's start back on this side. We'll go ahead and complete it all the way around. Okay friends, this concludes our video. We're done for today. We've showed you a couple simple things here to do. You know, pushing a weld, pulling a weld, um, welding two pieces of flat bar together and a uh, piece of pipe back together. And uh, showed you our little welder. Uh, you can pick these up for probably about 350 bucks and they're a handy thing to have. Um, and welding is a wonderful skill to have. It just takes some practice to get good at it. Um, great thing to be able to do to weld your patio furniture back together or actually fabricate something you know maybe a, maybe a grill or something like that or weld a kid's bicycle back together um, you'll uh, you'll find that it will definitely pay for itself uh, over time and you'll have all your friends as soon as they find out you can weld and have a welder they'll be bringing stuff to you to weld and paying you for it all right well thanks again for watching and uh, subscribe to my channel we'll be making more how-to videos here in the future so take care and have a great day